Steve Williams. Uh, I am the chief producer at the Chapel Studios in London, in Wimbledon here. Um, went to the Royal Academy of Music for four years, studied there, uh, orchestral music, and then did jazz and rock there as well. Then went to the Guildhall and studied jazz and rock there, and then was let out into the world of pop session drumming. Um, I went on tour with Midge Yore and then just started sessioning and touring really, playing on a variety of um, albums and tours. Uh, did a lot of Stock Aiken and Waterman for My Sins, um, like Kim Appleby and uh, Rick Astley. It's just got more and more into producing and being uh, behind a desk and, and, um, and engineering and programming. I uh, was setting up my own studio, then I worked for Trevor Jones, who's a uh, film composer. I did lots of Hollywood things like uh, Last of the Mohicans, and we did like a Johnny Depp film, a Britney Spears film. Uh, I was part of the team for that. <laughs> New ideas. This is this is this is something that's very at the very forefront of my mind. It's just just to offer more and more new ideas. So that the, I mean, you know, the thing about pop music is that um, it's all about new sounds. It's about having something fresh, whatever the next stage is, the next thing. So uh, being creative in uh, in a novel way, that's really um, what my uh, production philosophy is about. Because quality is uh, of paramount importance we we offer the best gear that we possibly can as well i consider this desk the ssl duality to be the best desk that money can buy so you know that's of prime importance the same goes for any gear that we've got it's it's absolutely pristine quality and the same goes for any software we use mm. we use the very best software that you can possibly use that being pro tools uh, other things uh, obviously melodyne um, waves, uh, lots of different kinds of top quality, first class software and gear. It's an amazing program that can um, offer a whole, the, 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 the possibilities are almost endless and the way it stretches uh, your imagination, your creativity uh, and also helps fix things as well. So. Uh, the the program itself uh, has a variety of uses. Put people in tune, which is you know fantastic. So you get a take, and you're not sure whether it's a good one because of the tuning, but the delivery is excellent. The tone is fantastic. You say, let's put it melodyne, and let's just tune that one note, or let's tune it all, or whatever you want to do. So that it shortens the amount of time that you need to do it, to get good takes, and also uh, improves the quality of your output. Interesting ways that I would use Melodyne though, I've, I've written a song and I've used it in a very, very interesting way. I've, basically there's no instruments in it, it's just me singing and I've pretty much Melodyned everything I've sung. I mean there's hardly anything I've not Melodyned. Um, not many artists would be proud of saying that but you know it is just amazing what, what I've managed to do with it. One of the things is, let's let me play this little section first here. What I did there was um, I just took my own voice and to make it a little bit more operatic, um, a little bit more sort of ancient, I wanted to make it ancient and a little bit more sort of a thousand years old. Um, rather than employing somebody else to sing it, I just um, uh, transposed it up the octave and I'll solo that for you now. I made all the transitions really sudden as well on purpose because uh, underneath that there is actually uh, my main vocal uh, supporting it. So uh, just octave using it as a, a transposition, and it's a brilliant, brilliant at transposing, um, and the and, and the way it sounds when it's embedded as well uh, in context, it sounds um, very, very realistic. Like um, somebody that really is somebody singing that high, and I can't sing that high. this section for you. Venus 
stepped inside of me. That's the main vocal. Um, and then what I also did was I straightened out, completely straightened out the lead vocal and used it to support it. Yeah, here we go. Vina stepped inside of me and pushed her way through forest trees. Very robotic, but uh, with that underpinning the main vocal, it creates a new effect. It's a new way of um, using it. So I just straightened out all of the notes, had no vibrato in it at all. Uh, and that together with the lead vocal sounded very nice. It sounds a bit like it's been just been double tracked, but it's just got an interesting effect to it. There's another way I, uh, I've been using it, is for, uh, and I think everyone's been using it this way as well, is to make notes and move from one note quickly to the next. And I think we just heard it there. Inside of me. So this one here. And pushed her way through. Okay, so that's um, that's one way of uh, making it sound like the, the quick tuning that you get um, uh, that you hear a lot in pop, actually. Well, what I like about Melodyne is it's just you can use it how you how you want to use it really, just get creative with it I suppose, you know, I mean, I've been tuning guitars with it and things like that and timing vocals is really good as well, you can just sort of like click on it and put vocals very much in time and use that as an effect, you might as well, um, so as it sounds human but not quite human, that's another great thing to do. Um, uh, the DNA software, well, let's wait and see because it just sounds awesome. <laughs> You know, I just think people we're going to be using it in very, very creative ways, um, as as you do, you can do with Melodyne. So I'm very much looking forward to it, very, very much. Yeah.